Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today and I have to tell you it's third time lucky for me hopefully with this particular reading I keep being interrupted for long periods of time so long that I have to come back and stop the reading and I think okay I'm going to start it again. Uh, I assume that there is some reason why I'm being stopped from doing this reading and um, with the cards that are on the table uh, we're going to carry on with Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for this reading though. Persevere with this tarot deck and see what it wants to tell us third time round. And we're reading today on the failure, the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and the rumour that is going around and it is just a rumour that Prince Harry might have lost a substantial sum of money uh, in the bank run. Uh, there is also a rumour that uh, Better Up banks there. So there's two stories really going on. Better Up might have banked there they might have lost it might impact Harry from that angle and then there is a second angle that he might personally have uh, put his proceeds from spare and things like that there and lost that and so the theme today as I shuffle the um, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot again the theme today is really looking at Harry's adventures in the big bad world and seeing whether he's get his fingers burned his, his little lady fingers burned uh, a, bit, a, a little bit with his dabbling in things he might not fully understand or dabbling in situations where uh, the protective umbrella of the royal family isn't over him anymore. Um, so we're going to have a look and we're going to look at better up and see if they lost and what impact that might have on Harry and then we're going to look directly at Harry and see if he banked with uh, Silicon Valley Bank personally and whether he has lost a giant sum of money. As I said the story is coming from quite a bogus uh, Twitter account, so take it with a grain of salt or a giant cup of salt even. Uh, but we're looking at it, we're looking at it because we like to look at these things and it is just for fun. Because this is just a tarot reading for entertainment purposes or just opinion, speculation, energy. We read on energy, we read on archetypes here. The royal family as the archetypal family. One more shuffle. And there is, of course, a disclaimer in the box below. So let's see what's going on with Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, it looks like tomorrow opening business uh, Monday morning is going to be pretty frenetic, pretty interesting. And uh, it looks like also that the UK might do a bailout. And um, I'm going to cut these cards again. Shuffle one more time and cut them because I wasn't focused. I was thinking about something else and I should not have been. Okay, now we've got the cards jumping. All right, we're there. We're there. And uh, cut the deck again properly and see what universe wants us to know about the situation. So cut the deck. There we go. Little six card reading, one of my own uh, homemade tarot spreads. This is better apps column this is Harry's column Harry banking Harry lost and uh, this is outcome the outcome I want to know is really is uh, is he learning some hard lessons or is it uh, all all fine and we have got an interesting underlying energy now the tower uh, the tower after many false starts and many shufflings and false cuttings the tower has come out it's come out in the reverse and um, it's all fall down for the tower for the the person wearing a crown here that would be our prince and his lovely wife falling down from that tower and uh, bolt of lightning it's shocks rude surprises it's that is what the card is about it's uranus it is um, the card of sudden um, misfortune calamity uh, it is in the reverse uh, a super duper calamity or trying to recover from a calamity I'm inclined to think it's the f former that this is a calamity that they did not see coming and that has been a big big blow so that's very interesting and uh, whew, it's taken a while to get to, to that card I have to say uh, but anyway um, let's look at the situation the heart of this reading what are we ooh, we're talking about high anxiety the nine of swords we're talking about stress and worry and sleepless nights and don't know what to do don't know where to turn um, how am I going to fix this uh, we're talking two things we're talking better up and we're talking about has been this is 
this is grim energy this isn't having a carefree weekend getting ready for the oscars and that's where my mind went when i had to recut the cards my mind went suddenly to the oscars and thinking it's sunday um, a lot of people getting all tarted up perhaps even fergie but not the harkles harkles uh, are having a bit of an anxious weekend allegedly according to the cards the energy of the cards uh better up first has better up lost uh, a big load of money um this weekend oh wow three of swords in reverse all these cards coming out in reverse um absolute um heartache it's this is painful this is seriously painful for them um uh, it feels like a betrayal the three of swords is always some level of betrayal you can't believe that this has happened that somebody you trusted somebody you loved could do this to you and obviously silicon valley bank was trusted and loved by the startups and how can this happen um so yeah this this is a this is a painful a painful reading uh, it was painful for me getting to these particular cards. I have no idea what the other cards were because I never got to read them. I got interrupted each time. Um, but this is bad. This is this is very, very bad. Um, what impact is this going to have on Harry's Chimpo? Is he going to be getting uh, your fired uh, note? Um, it, not bad. Not bad for him. This is, this is not where it ends. This is not where it falls apart. Um, he is okay. Whatever is going on with them, he is okay. He is safe. He is protected. He's, um, that's the first energy of the sun because the sun is such a positive card. It's hard to read something negative into it. But given all of this, um, he might get away scot-free. He might um, not have um, lost any money personally here. And I, 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 I didn't expect that he would. He's, it, a lot of people speculate he's got um, a promise of stock options and things like that if ever they get to their IPO. Um, but it's also publicity, it's notice, illumination. So the spotlight might shine on Harry a bit as a result of this. That uh, And it certainly is right now. A lot of people speculating that this might impact him personally. But it's not bad. Uh, it's not bad notice. It's not bad attention. Um, this is this is not calamity, not at all. These are calamity cards, but he looks like he is okay. However, they might be feeling and doing. He um, protected and safe, I would say. Um, and it's a, quite an innocent card, this son, with the child on the white horse, uh, innocent and playful. And because he is a bit of a, a babe in the woods. That's a babe in the woods card and he might be protected because of that. Universe might be protecting the babe in the woods or um, somehow um, somebody else might have protected him. Lawyers, advisors, royal family remotely, something like that could be protecting that babe in the woods. And um, that's really, that's the expression I've been searching for all afternoon as I've been doing these readings and finally it's come to me. Babe in the woods. How's it going for our babe in the woods personally? Uh, did he uh, uh, deposit money uh, in Silicon Valley Bank, his own funds, his reward from um, Random House, Penguin Random House for writing that book, trashing his family, for instance? Did he bank with them? Ooh, ow. We got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Huh. He might have with that card coming out in reverse. Um... It's the uh, financially secure card. Uh, got everything, uh, living the living the good life, the dream life, the big house, the fancy clothes, the, the new car, the helicopter, uh, whatever, the super yacht. Um, very independent, doing very, very well. Thank you very much. Don't need anyone else, but it's in reverse, which is not doing well. Do you need help? Do you need a bailout? Do you need a rescue? He might have dropped quite a lot of money into that bank uh, that he's lost. But let's see. That's not That does not bode well for Harry. Does not bode well at all. Doesn't bode well for her either. I just have to say. Because it's quite a female energy. It's traditionally in tarot, it's the happy single woman 
who doesn't need husband, who doesn't need her king of pentacles, uh, uh, somebody I'm pointing to as if, as if it's on the table. Maybe it is on the table and I just don't know it yet. But she doesn't need her husband. She doesn't need her provider. She's doing very well for herself. But she's not when the card is in the reverse. So, ooh, ouch. And we've got two nines in the reverse. And nines are that culmination energy that you've reached the end of your um, journey in, in a particular uh, suit of tarot and um, we're reaching the end of the pentacles journey here with the nine we've reached the end of the swords journey here with the nine of swords swords are thoughts and conflicts and things and it's not not looking good it's not looking good i'm actually nervous i'm, I'm delaying <laughs> lifting this next card which is the did he lose a ton of money did he lose a ton of money no no uh, he's safe and protected he's safe as houses safe as houses he is protected um he may well have put money in there but he's okay um i don't know how i don't know why but i'm getting it twice now i'm getting the same message there is a calamity here with the tower in reverse a calamity that i thought was a mega calamity but could be being saved from a calamity uh, the tower in reverse is rebuilding after a calamity can be can be super calamity you can never recover from he is protected he is safe uh yeah i wonder who saved him <clears throat> it does make one shake one's head that these these morons cretins can go out into the world and dabble in these things and the blanket the security blanket is tossed across the ocean and wraps him safely in it seemingly according to these cards according to these cards so has he learned is he going to learn a big lesson and beware you know babe in the woods beware the big bad wolf mixing metaphors and nursery rhymes and all kinds of things yeah 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 five of pentacles now see if that had been there um it might have been a more satisfying reading <laughs> i'm just gonna say that uh for me as a reader and very likely for you watching <laughs> but there is a lesson here there is a lesson about see what happens you go out into the big bad world five of pentacles this is what happens to you and the lesson you want to be safe you want to be protected you know where you are safe and protected that is the five of pentacles that's a very interesting outcome card you've been led astray uh, by that woman that's the card that's the energy of the card that is what the card is literally telling me on the picture of the card he has been led astray this damaged soul um he's shown as being at some level damaged damage got a bandage around his head which in tarot normally means you have got some mental problems we're reading the cards for fun just my opinion damaged person led astray by that woman that woman that woman might have lost more than that man I'm just saying that, that that woman might have lost more than he did. And that would be quite funny. Uh, let's check. Let's check. We'll forget about Oprah. Who cares? I doubt that Oprah lost her billions uh, at uh, Silicon Valley Bank. I did Megan lose money personally in this bank. And um, I've got a card that's popped out. You might be able to see it. It's, it's scooching out, it's scooching out, it's scooching out. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's a big loss. <laughs> That's you, you lose you lose the whole lot with that Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All gone. All gone somehow. Somehow. I don't know how. Because it's as safe as houses, but the Ten of Pentacles is your future, is your security, is your uh, you, what you can rely on that's going to see you through to the end. It's 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 your legacy. It's 
your investments, all that stuff that are going to see you through uh, to your last day on this earth where uh, off you go um, to meet your maker. Gone. That is such an interesting card. That is your reading. Finally managed to squeeze it out. And I'm going to stagger away now, a bit like that wretch over there into the blizzard. And uh, um, I'll see you again, hopefully, tomorrow. <laughs>